Hey fam, it's me Johnny. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. So today's video is something different. I decided to cook something that I've never tried before and because I'm vegan now, I made me some orange chicken or orange tofu, fried tofu. So hopefully you guys like this video. I decided to just go ahead and record it for you guys. So let's go. So the first thing we, I did was I cut some ginger up and I'll be preparing that by putting it in the blender with some other ingredients but I just sliced some, vin some ginger up and peeled it and everything. So I decided to chop the ginger up kind of very small in small squares and I did the same thing with my garlic. I also decided to chop some scallions up because I wanted to use that as a garnish. So taking a small orange, you have to peel it and uh, break it up into the little individual sections. And I'm going to use the juice from one whole orange too. Using for extra firm tofu, I'm going to depot it and just pour off all the water and place it into my tofu press. I got this on Amazon. I'll link the link down below to where I bought this from. It was pretty affordable. Um, so I'm going to cut the tofu in half because it's too much. So I'm going to put that off to the side. But um, I decided to wrap it with the paper that it comes with or the cloth that it comes with and just place it in there and press down as hard as I could. I decided to cut them into small even squares to kind of just give it more of a chicken look. I don't know. I've, it's been so long since I had chicken. I don't even remember what it tastes like. But I'm just going to cut this up into a square. Using one tablespoon of soy sauce and two handfuls or sprinkles of cornstarch, I'm just preparing the tofu to be fried. So one of the key ingredients to making really good fried tofu is breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. And I use the, I think they're Japanese style breadcrumbs. And I'm just going to sprinkle some into a plastic bag. Yes, it is a plastic Walmart bag. I don't care. Don't judge me. And then I'm going to shake it up and just kind of eat, try to get the breadcrumbs on all of the tofu. Using some very hot oil, I'm going to place the tofu inside of the oil. See how hot it is? It started making them stick together, but I've managed to just get them apart and I started placing them with just one hand at a time, just one at a time. We're going to make our orange sauce. So I'm going to use the garlic, the ginger, and the oranges that I chopped up and peeled and I'm going to place that into a small blender cup. I'm going to add one third cup of vegetable broth that I made and to the container too with two tablespoons of brown sugar. So I'm also going to use two tablespoons of soy sauce and then I'm going to place the cap on and go for a blend. So this sauce is supposed to go on the tofu and I'm going to place it in a 
super duper hot pan but I'm gonna blend it completely through to make it completely liquefied. So I'm gonna make sure it's completely liquefied and then I'm gonna make some cornstarch um, sauce to make a thickening for the orange sauce. So all I did was place some cornstarch, just two little scoops of cornstarch into this little glass bowl here. And then I put some water in it. And I just stirred it until it was nice and liquefied. Going into a hot frying pan or saucepan, I, I'm just gonna pour all of that in there. And then I'm gonna start pouring the cornstarch mixture that I made into it also. And just stir, 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 stir until it's like nice and thick. So I'm gonna put those chunks or squares of tofu, fried tofu, into the pan, and then I'm gonna pour the sauce back onto it. I kind of wanted to save some of the sauce because it was kind of a lot of it. So I put a half amount, like half of the amount that I used. So I'm just going to put all of this on top of some rice. And let me tell you, when I say this stuff smelled so good, I love the way the ginger was like sounding off. But I put some sesame seeds, roasted sesame seeds on top as garnish. And I'm also going to add some green onion on the top also to kind of give it a garnish, give it a little bit of color too so it wouldn't look like vomit on a plate. <laughs> hey fam, so let's do the taste test right now. It's looking really good. It smells good. So this is my first time eating um, fried tofu. So we'll see how this goes. Let's see here. Ooh. Let me do another one. Bruh. <laughs> I'm not the one for making making it seem like this food ain't good, but y'all gotta excuse my hair. It's like 10 something at night. Listen, this is delicious. I just want to get one more for now. I'm about to get off this camera and finish this. Cause I'm hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Okay, one more time. One more time. Mm. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and clicking on my video. So I really enjoyed this tofu. It was so good. It kind of, kind of gave me memories of chicken but like I said it's been so long I don't know what it what it tastes like so what I want to do is get this video up to 50 likes can you do that for me 50 likes leave a comment below let me know if you are going to try this out and if you liked it and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video bye